Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking video. Um, today, we're doing something very, very especial, something very, very interesting, and um, something very, very thirst-quenching. Um, it's Thirsty Thursdays, so I wanted to go ahead and bring this to you. Um, it's a water mukbang. Now, I know what you're thinking. That doesn't make any motherfucking sense because mukbang in Korean means eating show, so you're saying you're doing a water eating show, so how are you going to eat the fucking water? Well, Mr. Uh, smart Guy and Mrs. Smart Guy, um, I'm not. I'm just going to drink it, and um, I really don't have any other explanation besides that. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to make you thirsty with this video. So stay tuned before you click off because you're bored as fuck. Uh, I'm going to talk about the time that I started a minor earthquake and uh, by falling out of my bed. And I know what you're thinking. I'm just making fun of myself. I'm just making up a story. You're going to want to listen because I guarantee you this is 100% the truth. This is a 100% true story. And it could happen to you. So you want to be careful. And we'll go ahead and get into that in a minute. Um, I don't got the tapatio on deck because I'm drinking water. I don't know what you expect of me. Um, but what you want to do is you want to hit the subscribe button because I got tons of fucking stories like this on my uh, channel you want to hit the bell notification because it's fun and you want to go ahead and leave a comment because that's fun too um so let's go ahead and get uh, intimately involved with this water i'm not sponsored by kirkland or costco but costco if you're watching this let me get a free membership all right cool let me go ahead and um get into this delicious water right here it's uh it's water and shit so yeah let's go ahead and do it mm. hell yeah homie Hell yeah. Alright, so it's Thirsty Thursdays. Um, this is a surprise video. I just stuttered a little bit, but the reason I'm bringing you the surprise video is because there's no reasoning behind it, and I'm just talking out of my ass right now. But, I'm bringing you a video that's like just a bonus video, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, I usually drop on Monday. Monday see, I can't even talk right, bro. I don't have enough water yet. Hold on. Alright, now I can talk clearly. I usually bring you videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I'm um, bringing you this bon bonus video because I'm distracted. Uh, I heard something outside. Uh, it's daytime, but I'm still scared of monsters. All right. So, about 16 years ago. So, let me minus that for my age. I, I was like around... I was around negative 16 that I am today. So, whatever that is, I don't know, but... um. I was about 16 years ago. The reason I know that is because in my mind, mathematically, it makes sense. Um, so about 16 years ago, I was about 21 years old, and I lived in Hesperia. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with the area, but it's in California. It's a high desert area, um, and it's not the best place to live, but that's where I was. So I was out there in that dry area and community. I'm going to go ahead and dig in a little bit here. Mm. And I was looking for a house. So I was on a, like a long-term construction project that I was doing out there. And I wanted to live in the area rather than traveling back and forth to Stockton. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to live out here. Let me just find a nice house. At the time, the real estate market um, wasn't too bad. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll find a good-ass fucking deal. So after thoroughly searching the area for a good deal on a house, I uh, went ahead and found a couple that I had to look at. So I looked at one and I thought, you know, this one's decent, but the price was just a little bit too high. You know what I mean? Like I like getting high and I like getting too high, but I don't like paying too high on my houses. You know what I mean? So, um, I didn't want to do that. So I was like, well, you know what? Let me look at the other one. That's like 50,000 less. You know what I mean? I'm sure that it's probably shit, but you know what I mean? Like, let me at least check it out, bro. I think everybody who saw who saw the listing probably thought the same thing like there's no way you know what i mean this house is probably shit fifty thousand less you know a fucking uh somebody got murdered in it or something you know there's ghosts and shit so that's not what the reason was but that's probably what people thought and i was like you know i might at least give it a chance so i went ahead and checked it out the house was fucking beautiful i had no idea i'm like so what, what's the deal with this house you know why is it so fucking cheap and they're like to be honest it's just always been that way um we can't really give you any details on it because we don't personally know i'm like that doesn't make any sense you're supposed to know the history of the houses that you sell you know what i mean kind of like when you get a new hyena or whatever you want to know that her sex history to see how many do she's banged you know what i mean because if you're like let's say you're only like six inches or some shit like that you know what i mean and she's banging like 16 dudes. Uh, she's probably loose enough that you're not going to be able to fit in. So you want to make sure you get a hind of between like 7 to 10 dudes or something like that or less to make sure that you can bang it out right. So um, 
I'm like, you know, you got to know the history in your houses before you sell them. You know what I mean? Dude's not going to want to buy if he doesn't know what the history is about. So they're like, well, we're just letting you know we'll knock off another 10000 you know what I mean, for you to not give us a hard time about it. So I was like, sold. They're like, what do you mean sold? I mean, I sold. Fucking, I'll take it. They're like, are you sure? I was like, how are you going to ask me if I'm sure? You don't want your sale? Like, what kind of salesperson does that? Have you ever went to, let's say, a car dealership and said, I want that car? And they're, you know, they, they sold everything. They told you all about the car. And then you said, okay, I'll take it. Have you ever had one of them be like, are you sure? Like, that's, I mean, you're taking away my confidence. But yes, I'm fucking sure. You know what I mean? I told you I want the house. So anyways. I um, bought the house. It was a long process to go through escrow and shit. Um, if you don't know where escrow is, bro, it's it's not a city. Um, it's a fucking uh, thing that you had to go through um, in order for you know like your your finances and different shit to get cleared. It's like bank shit, you know what I mean? So it's not like escrow, California. It's not a city. All right. Anyway, um. Mine took a little bit longer. It ended up taking longer because I have a fucked up credit history, but I had the funds to be able to pay for it. So, you know what I mean? They're like, you got to provide at least 20000 for the down payment. And I had like 80000 Um, No, I'm not balling like that. i just been saving money since I was like five years old selling lemonade to other things. All right, so I had a lot of money saved up. Um, 80000 or something like that. But my credit history was fucked up because I used to pull out like credit cards and just, you know, go buy a bunch of shit. I pull out like a Macy's card or Dillard's card and never pay them and shit. You know, I was very irresponsible with my finances when I was young. I'd be rocking outfits that I didn't even pay for technically. Now, I don't know if I would call that stealing, but either way, I learned my lesson. I was young, dumb, and full of cum. Um, I'm not young and I'm not dumb, but I'm still the third. So... I had to wait a while for it to all clear, you know what I mean? Um, kind of like some of you guys that are in high school, you're waiting for your acne to clear. It takes a while, but it's going to happen. You got to just be patient. So after like three, maybe three and a half months, I finally got the call. They're like, all right, all right, homie, everything's clear. You're good to go. You can move in whenever you want. Um, you're all set. I was like, cool. So I was like, fuck that. I'm moving in right away. You know what I mean? Because I was tired of fucking having to commute. I would stay there during the week at a fucking hotel. And on the weekends, I'd go back home. So I was fucking ready, bro. Uh, moved all my shit, you know. Broke up with my hyena that I was with at the time. So I could have new hyenas in Hesperia. You know what I mean? Like, sorry, forgive me. I just wanted, you know to move on, you know what I mean, I didn't want to have to have a long distance relationship, and I wasn't taking her with me, so anyways, I was fresh on the market, good to go, and I got, I did what I had to do, so, moved to Hesperia, moved all my shit in, was living good, the project that I was on was about six months to a year, but you know what I mean, like, I was buying a house, so I'm like, you know, whether I plan to live in Hesperia long term, I'm, I own the fucking house, so I can rent it out, or whatever I want to do, someone currently lives there now, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Obviously, I don't live there. I live in Stockton. All right. So, moved in, was living good, you know, going to work every day. Just, you know, just a normal fucking, like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I was living there. Everything was cool. But, it took about, I don't know, fucking four months in for me to realize that there was something very wrong about this house. And it was like a, like a sudden slap in the face. Like, it woke me up to be like, oh, shit. That's why this fucking house sold for so fucking low. Excuse me. Con permiso. Mmm. Miso soup and shit. Alright. So anyways. I was asleep one night. I think the night before I had drank like some fucking Carlos Rossi wine. If you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments below if you ever fucked with Carlos Rossi wine. Wine. Um... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, just let me know, because that shit will have you feeling like you're on a fucking boat, and you're on a sea, and the sea is going crazy and shit, you know, the waves are fucking going crazy. So, I drank a little too much Carlos Rossi wine, say that seven times fast, I was fucking faded, so I went to sleep. Um, in the middle of the night, I guess I was tossing, turning so much, I ended up falling off the bed. So... Really pay attention to this, because some of you guys are going to think I'm bullshitting you, but really pay attention. If you know science, you know how it all works. You know how earthquakes work. So I fall off the bed in the middle of the night because I'm fucking, you know, tossing and turning, drunk off that Carlos Rossi wine. I fall off the bed. I land on the ground. As soon as I land on the ground, the whole fucking 
house starts shaking and shit. I'm thinking that it's, you know, just part of my buzz, but I see shit falling off like my fucking dressers and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, homie? Um, it lasted a good 30 seconds, bro. <clears throat> I barely made it to the kitchen, you know what I mean? To, like, back then, you know, I didn't have a cell phone. I just had, like, a home phone. So I barely made it to the kitchen to be able to call and be like, what the fuck's going on? You're probably thinking to yourself, who'd you call, bro? Um, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I ended up calling um, a prayer line because it was like the 700 Club prayer line or something like that because, you know, I needed Jesus at that moment, bro. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. All right, so anyways. It passed, and I kind of was like, you know what, bro, I'm too fucking hungover to figure out what's going on. So I went back to sleep for another 13 hours, right? Once I woke up, I saw on the news that there was an earthquake in the area. And I had a bunch of fucking motherfucking, like, police and investigators at my house, um, and I didn't know why. I'll tell you why right now, homie. I'll tell you why right now. These motherfuckers are at my house, and they're asking me questions and shit. Come to find out that this house was built on a fucking fault line, bro. This house was built on a fault line. They knew it. They acted like they didn't know, like it was just brand new news to them. But come to find out, it was built on a fault line and a very sensitive fucking fault line at that. And I know what you're thinking. Nah, it wasn't sensitive. It was probably just you're just fat as fuck, and you landed on the fault line. You shook the whole earth or something. You know, aside from the jokes and shit. I landed on the fault line, anybody could have landed on it and it would have made that fucking happen. I guess it just had pressure that was built up, it was ready to just fucking shake. So it was like a minor earthquake, you know what I mean? It shook the area a little bit, tore down a couple houses and shit, but nothing like crazy, you know? It didn't destroy the city, you know what I mean? It wasn't like a magnitude that was all over the news and shit like that. So you may or may not have heard of it, I'm sure you could do a Google search. <laughs> I'm sure you can gurgle. I'm sure you could do a Google search. Search. Can't even talk right on me, I think I need more water, hold on. I'm sure you can do a Google search and uh, look up Hesperia Earthquake. What fucking year is it, bro? I was 21 years old. That's all I know. About 16 years ago or so. Um, and it was a small earthquake. So I think it may be there. I haven't researched it since. But, you know, there's been a lot of earthquakes in California lately. All the way from fucking Livermore to a fucking, like, high desert area that I know about out there. Not Hesperia necessarily, but... LA and shit like that so I'm like fuck you know what I mean I had to experience that myself I've been through those earthquakes you know what I mean but um it was one that I guess was self-induced a self-induced earthquake I mean I know that sounds kind of crazy but it's like I kind of brought it on myself you know what I mean like if I wouldn't have drank that Carlos Rossi I don't think I ever would have fell off the bed to be able to activate a fucking earthquake so let me know in the comments below if you've ever started an earthquake and how you know it's kind of crazy and shit this water's making me pretty full bro but it definitely was a good water mug bang, you know what I mean? I got this one. I probably got too many. So we'll go ahead and take that off camera. And we'll act like we drink it. And that one too. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you appreciate the story time. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you feel. You know what I mean? Just let me know what you feel, homie. Like, just let me know. You know? Unless you got a dick in your hand. Don't let me know what you feel. But um, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. I love my Trejos World fans. I love the fact that this channel is growing. I love the fact that I can bring you all these stories for, you know, years to come before YouTube kicks me out. Um, other than that, you know what I mean? I'll eventually have backup like TrejosWorld.com and different shit um, in the future. So that if something ever happens to YouTube, you guys can find me elsewhere. But thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Much respect to everybody and much love. Your boy's gone. The fuck you doing, homie? Huh? The fuck you doing, Kato? Hey, it's my boy Kato, homie. What's up, Kato? Say what's up.